virgin olive oil. Beautiful. Thank you so yeah. much for joining me. So Lauren us. has the privilege of being the chef and owner with your husband, right? Yes. Over at Rosalina, which is not far from here. I'm losing my balance here, but it's a couple blocks away. Mm -hmm. um, and I was brought in there by a good friend of mine, a colleague, Jim Bramley, for the first time you know, a while ago. And now I think I've been probably back six or seven times. And every pasta dish I had, and I probably had at least four different ones that I had there. So every pasta dish that I had went to Rosalina was absolutely wonderful. So that was one of the main reasons that I knew that it was inventive and I had to have you onto the show. So thank you for taking the time to join me. I greatly oh, appreciate it. Thank you for having us. So tell me a little bit about what you brought here, because these we gotta show these. These are this is gorgeous. Yeah, so this is our squid ink pasta, and we do that with some crab meat, um, olive oil, some white wine, some red pepper flakes. We actually do grilled um, poblano peppers wow. and jalapeno peppers. So jalapeno put, peppers? Yeah, like a roasted okay. green chili that we put in there so it's a little bit spicy and a little bit different. And I think it goes really nice um, with the wine that we bought, which is actually a Greek wine. A Greek wine? Oh, that's right. we got to talk yes. about that. All right, so we're going to get into that in a minute. We, I forgot about yes. that. Right, we're going to talk about that. And the other pasta that I brought, um, we do this Look sometimes. At the size of those shrimp. Yeah. Uh, as a special at Rosalina, but this is going to be on our menu at our new restaurant, Cleos. So this is actually a Greek style pasta. A Greek style pasta? Yes. So it's very inventive. What the? So, so you're very inventive. <laughs> All right. So I mean, the shrimp alone, my gosh, I'm like, I'm drooling over here at the shrimp in this dish. So what kind of pasta was it again that's in our So one? this is a fresh gemelli pasta. Gemelli, okay. And we do a pesto, but instead of the traditional Italian style pesto, yep. which would come with pine nuts garlic, Parmesan cheese, and basil. We use pistachios, which are you know more Greek All pistachios. inspired, and uh, fresh oregano. Beautiful. Yeah, which is really nice. And then we do the shell on shrimp, which we think um, it's a little bit messy, yeah. but it has such, if you love shrimp, it has such like an amazing flavor. It's more lobster-like. Really? In the flavor, yeah, it's really Does it nice. So it locks in the flavor a little bit more because of the shell on there? Yeah, I think so. It's a l definitely sweeter, more briny, um, just a, definitely a brighter flavor. And then we top that off with um, a Greek yogurt cream that we mix with sun-dried tomatoes and olive oil. Greek yogurt. Look yeah. At that. And it, you can kind of mix it in, and it makes the pasta nice and creamy. And So, Lauren, delicious. tell me a little bit, because there's no question that this is beyond inventive, which is truly amazing. Tell me a little bit about your background. Um, so I have loved food my whole life. <laughs> who doesn't? Exactly. <laughs> That's who we're all here, Exactly, right? absolutely. That's what I, food and wine, and, and I'm pointing the phrase from my very first guest that wine is food. Yes. I'm pointing that phrase now. Yes, so. I, I would agree. Uh, so I've always loved food, and I always worked in the restaurant business, more as a server and a bartender um, from the time I was 14. Wow. Yeah, and uh, I had my daughter, Rosalina, when I was 23. Aww. And I stayed at home for a few years with her, and I just got so in. I was always into cooking. I worked a little bit in the back of the house, but I always worked more front of the house. And I'd always be bugging the chef, like, "How do you, how do you make this? Show me how to do that." And as you know, time went on, and I had some more free time. I started cooking a lot, and I kind of self-taught. And I would just study cookbooks and you know, watch different, you know, food, TV. So this passion came from a real passion, and you taught yourself. Yeah, that's yeah. That's absolutely amazing. And it's named after your daughter. Yeah, and it's oh, named after my daughter, that's yeah. That's absolutely beautiful, and so. it's a gorgeous name, so you can't go wrong with that. Thank you. It's a beautiful name. All right, yeah. so. So a housewife talk? turned restaurateur. That's amazing. That's <laughs> awesome, though, but self-taught to be able to come up with these things. How many different pastas on a regular, I know you run different additions to the menu like this and yeah, stuff, but so how many pastas on a regular We normally do um, actual pasta dishes, about six pasta dishes on our menu. Um, we have some entrees incorporate pasta, um, but not, you know, pasta isn't the main thing. And then we do change out two or three of those dishes about every three months along with the season. So okay. we keep some things that are just gonna always stay on the menu. They're the classic Rosalina dishes and then we swap, you know, out right. different specialties. And, and talk Rosalina, how many how long, how old is Rosalina? She's eight. Okay. And how old is the restaurant? The restaurant No no no, I didn't mean your daughter. <laughs> okay. I didn't mean your daughter for some the restaurant is three years old. So your daughter's gotta feel this wonderful thing of honor that now she's eight years old can actually realize that the restaurant's name is. Yeah. So for those people that have not been over Rosalina, it is a special spot and it's in a location that's beautiful because you're in kind of like this little restaurant row that's kind of forming yes. over there now. But talk a little bit about the restaurant, how the restaurant's set up and situated. So the restaurant, um, like you said, I think it's kind of a special restaurant. It's, so, it's small, so it's cozy. It's a nice size. Um, so it always kind of has a, a nice feel, even if it's, you know, a Monday night or right. something like that. Right. 
and we have uh, portraits done of family members on the wall, which actually one of them is of Rosalina. So we have my grandparents, yeah. we have Rosalina, we have my sister-in-law and my father-in-law and my husband's godfather. Um, and we had old photographs. They were all old except for the one of Rosalina, of course. <laughs> but that one is styled so, right. so it fits in. And they were all black and white photographs. And a friend of mine, Buck Hastings, okay. um, he's with Providence Painted Signs. They do a oh, lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. They did, didn't they do the Trinity? The yeah. Language? The Trinity outside there, yes. Yeah, absolutely. they do. And he's amazing, Buck. They're amazing. So they did our signage, but they also um, did all the paintings. So they took the photographs that we gave them. They painted them on the canvases. That's really special. That way, my husband and I can be surrounded by our family. family. And I have to say, but that's what people have said. Like when I went in there, was that it's that in, it's almost that inviting. So you feel like you're walking into someone's home in that aspect to seeing them. It's a very comfortable environment to come in to do. Yeah. And you've got a nice bar that's up there. The dining yeah. room kind of winds around into the back right there, right? Yeah. That's where I've sat a couple of times. Some and I, nice cozy booths. Right. And yeah, and that's what I wanted it to feel like. So I'm happy that that's how you feel. No, it was. It's, it's like an truly, extension of my home. Yeah, you know? it truly is. So we got to taste this wine. We got to talk about you get some extra virgin olive here. That's beautiful. Yeah. So this we actually um, bring from my husband's family's farm in Greece. Really? So, yeah. So this is our own, you know, extra. So that's virgin gonna be our segue. Here. We're gonna taste the wine. We're gonna talk about the Greeks. So we're gonna go yeah. from Italian for a minute. Talking about grief because they are, she's truly becoming a restaurateur now. So you're going to open up a new place. <laughs> yes. So let's talk about that while I pour the wine. Sure. So and this wine is also from Greece. Santorini is you know known for their white wines. Um, Greece is really kind of getting on the map now for wine in a way that they haven't been. But Santorini's always been known for making really beautiful white wine, and it goes really nicely with either of these dishes. So now are you using the olive oil in the restaurant now already? We do, yep. Okay. We use it, and we also, we bottle it, and we sell it in the restaurant by the bottle, but we do, you know, garnish oh, with it. Oh, you sell this in the restaurant? We do, oh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Mmm. That's delicious. Mmm. That's a beautiful summer wine. I have not had this before. And there's I know like, I'm the wine enthusiast. I haven't had a Greek. Yeah. Wine. I've had Greek wine. I haven't had this Greek wine. Yeah, there's enough to it that it can kind of stand up to some of like this is like kind of a bold dish. It can really you know handle. All the, right, so let's talk about this announcement with the Greek restaurant. Tell yes. us about this because this is important. So you got another announcement coming yes. your way. So. so my husband and I have a 17 month old son named Hercules. 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 So we got Rosalina and Hercules. <laughs> so you've got two. You got two more to catch up to me, and then we're even. So. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, right. She's like, yeah, right. <laughs> so, so we had uh, we call him Harry because Hercules is you know a big a big name. So in um, Greek, Hercules is the Roman version. In Greece, it's Heracles, but it actually comes from Heracleos. In Greek mythology, um, Queen Hera was married to Zeus, and yeah. he had an affair with a mortal woman. He was trying to smooth things over with his wife, so he named Hercules for his wife. Cleos meaning glory, so it's glory to Hera. So you got a history lesson in this too. My yes. son better be watching this because my son loves the Greek god Devin. You better be watching them. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're naming the restaurant because we didn't think Hercules had this quite the same, you know, role to it that that Rosalina does. So, so we said Cleos, uh, um, you know, is the name of the restaurant okay. for our son, um, and we have some, you know, also family photographs, you know, painted. And where is this one going to be? Uh, Westminster Street. So not far from where you are at all. Yeah, 250. Yep, right right up the street. So 250 Westminster, Westminster Street. And when yes. are we looking at this opening? Uh, about three to four weeks. Really? So, yeah, we're waiting right now on just a few more, you know, approvals for permits and things like that. So and in three to four weeks, so you'll be open for the summertime. Yes. That's congratulations. Yeah, that is thank excellent. You. So we will have to do some, we'll definitely bring you on once Cleos is open and got its uh, feet wet, so to speak. We'll have to, are you going to do some type of opening? We'll have to come over and do like a Facebook oh, yeah. Live from there and do yeah, something fun. Yeah, that would be really we'll do fun. do something good over there. Yeah. So I have to say, so that you're mixing two things. So you've got the Italian and now you're going to have the Greek and going yes. back and forth. Are you going to kind of oversee both kitchens and the menus and the style? Yeah, so we have an amazing, amazing staff. So we have, I have, you know, an executive chef at both restaurants that I work alongside with. Right. Um, as well as a sous chef. So actually our uh, sous chef from Rosalina, who's here with me today, oh, great. Um, he is coming along with us to Cleos as our executive chef. And from what you brought in, being inventive, so this is more the Greek style you said, and this is more the, the style of Rosalina. Yes. So we're going to definitely have pastas on the new 
menu with the new restaurant, Yes, right? we will have, okay. yep, a few pastas um, in Greece. They're known for, you know, pastizo. I don't know if you've ever had pastizo. No, tell me about that. It's a, um, like a baked pasta, okay. and I kind of compare it to almost like lasagna, like a traditional Italian lasagna made with like a, the bolognese and the bechamel, you know, yep. if you've had that style. Yep. So it's like that. They do it with a bucatini pasta, but I actually do it with like a mezza penne, which is like a smaller size penne, just because I think it holds up a little bit better yep, than the exactly bucatini. So. But yeah, so it's layered the pasta with the bolognese and more pasta and bechamel, and you cut it kind of in big slices. And the same thing like in the squares, like you would fill with a little Yes. Bit. Okay, exactly. and, but it's baked, you're saying? So, so. But it's baked, okay. yeah. It's it's really nice, it's delicious. So see, we had <laughs> Italian pasta, now we're over to the Greek pasta, so that's awesome. So from your perspective of being self-taught and learning, You've obviously had the opportunity to be as inventive as you can, and you're holding up some traditions, obviously, well, now both from the Greek side and the Italian yeah. side. Is there ones that you prefer to make? Because you're making some of these pastas in-house, too, right? Yeah, so we do some specials um, in-house, like we've done, uh, you know, uh, pork cheek, ravioli. Um, oh I'm going to be yeah. starving by the time I get off the show. Yeah, which was really nice, and we made, like, an amazing sauce with it, like a, almost like a pork, like, demi-glaze, kind of, to go along with it. That was really, really Ooh. nice. Yeah, so we do some different specials. We do get some um, pastas locally made. People that do a really, really nice job. Yep. Um, Maria's Pasta locally, they do. Oh, that's excellent. So yeah. that, that, that's important too, because we've talked about on this show too about sourcing locally. So yes. when you have the ability to use purveyors that are local, it's incredibly important. Yes. Are there dishes from your perspective that, I mean, you're obviously beyond creative, so I'm loving that, but is there dishes that you've found, and I have to ask this question of chefs, is there ones that are more your favorites, things that you prefer to either make or to have out there for the menu to do it? Oh yeah, I mean, I try to not just do what what I like. I do try to keep you know guests happy. Um, in the beginning, there were certain things I. That's so tough keeping guests happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think sometimes people they just want to make what they want to make, right. um, which you know I I understand. But there were certain things when we first opened that I was like, I didn't want to do meatballs, and everyone said, but you have such good meatballs, and I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to make meatballs because. I feel like everyone thinks their grandma makes the best meatballs or their mom makes the best. And I didn't want to kind of get involved in the meatball uh, wars. Uh, but people, you were being diplomatic. Yes, <laughs> yes. But people requested them so much that um, I gave in. And um, now we do a burrata ravioli with meatballs. Nice. Which is one of our more popular pasta dishes. Uh, we do a polenta lasagna in the winter. A polenta meatballs. lasagna? Yeah, which is gluten-free. Oh, I, I missed know, that. You know, you... You've been talking about the gluten-free. So the, the girls here are gluten-free, so they love that. So that's another yeah. thing I'd say is that so far every restaurant that I've had in today has done that. And I think that that's a testament to all of you in the industry that you're able to cater to guests in that way because it is important. It's, it's a very important thing. Yeah. So I, I've got to say this has been incredibly knowledgeable. I'm very happy that you, again, made the announcement to talk about the new restaurant opening. And I'll have to make sure we get the spelling and their website. We'll definitely do a Facebook Live, and we will bring you back in to have you do that. But is there any other, like now over at Rosalina, do you guys do any special events or anything like that? Because I know that someone was talking to me about a dinner or something. Yeah, so we do um, a lot of private events, okay. a lot of rehearsal dinners. So people can do a private small parties then, right? Yep, we do. Um, sometimes people actually rent out the entire restaurant, especially Saturday and Sunday days because we're not open. Okay. So people will rent it out for bridal showers. What's, I think, a little bit different about us, especially being downtown, um, when we do those private events, uh, or we even, last night we did it for 11 guests, we'll do family-style dinners, nice. which is kind of nice and different, and especially for a rehearsal dinner where you're going to do something more formal. And it's, it's dinner at Rosa, right? It's not lunch right now or anything, so it's just dinner. Just dinner, yeah, okay. seven and days. Seven days a week. Though. Yes. So if you're over by Trinity, and this is a, a good yes. landmark for you, to literally go just down the street there, the yep. little side street that's there, yep. to get over to Trinity, it's a beautiful, beautiful location. You guys have got the parking over there. It's awesome. So... I, I truly, I truly appreciate you coming in, especially because I'm going to finish this Greek wine. <laughs> so I, I truly appreciate you coming.